Okay, how to make a bird crane out of a $20 bill. So first you're gonna to wanna to fold it into a square. So there's a triangle, but that's gonna fold it in half into a square. Okay. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the next half and fold it that way. Okay. Now, here's your square piece of paper, starting piece of paper. You're going to fold it into a triangle. So as you can see, the important part is you're starting with a, a square. And you can pretend that this is one piece of paper that is square. So we're going to fold it diagonally in half. And then again, diagonally in half. And I'm going to crisp those lines so that they're nice and strong. You can even fold them over the other way. Kind of depends which way you want it to come out, the, what you want to show. Anyway. There's the deal folded that way. Now you're going to fold it in half, both ways, so that the square is folded in half, both ways. Okay. And if you need to, you can fold it again, both ways. And then you're going to pick which do you want the 20s to show outside. Do you want Andrew to show inside? I'm going to go with this way. So the 20 shows on the outside. 2020. Okay. So I need to crisp this line a little bit better. That looks pretty good. I'm actually going to go right there. So you're basically going to hold the corners and push inward so that it comes out that way. There we go. Now we're going to fold this down so that this comes to a nice point. In theory. There we go. Twenty is there. And this is going to be on the wing, so that should work good. Okay. Now that we've got it there, I'm going to take each of these and fold them inside like this. There we go. Okay, make those pretty crisp. And what you can do is open those up and pull the wing. And you need the whole deal up like this. And then fold in a little bit so it makes this diamond shape. Okay. Here's one wing. Now the other side, you're going to do the same thing. You can open it up and pick up this portion here. And get that wing to get a nice point. There we go. 
There we go. Look at that. We got Andrews, Andrew Jackson's eye there. And a 20 on the wing. Okay, now those are our wings. But and this is the face or the, the either the tail or the face, depending on which way comes out better. So basically you're gonna take this and you're gonna fold it in like this and pick it up like so. It's a good chance this one will be the head. Yeah, it's it already sort of bound up. Okay. This can be the tail as it's maintaining a point. Okay. Now for the head, we're gonna dip this down and in like so. There we go. Not the easiest to work with because it wasn't a perfect square to begin with, but that's okay. We do what we can here. There we go. And here's the wings. And there we go. That's the crane from a $20 bill. Now, sometimes you can make the wings flap just by Grabbing it here, and this one's a little stiff. There you go. Anyway, that's how you can make a crane out of a twenty dollar bill. All right, there it is. Okay, gonna make a bird out of a $20 bill. A couple ways to do it. Basically, we need to start with a square. So, what we can do is Take the deal, make a triangle. Of course, the triangle is our square. So we're gonna to need to fold over both of these so that we have a square. Okay. And now we're gonna to need to fold those over. As if, as if they almost don't exist. Problem is, it's not going to give us a very good show for the 20, is it? I don't think it'll work out that great that way. So I'm going to go back to just making it a 20 on the face. There we go. There we go. There we go. We'll fold it just like that. That's going to be our starting point, our square. Okay. So now we're going to fold it diagonally both ways. Okay. 
direction and then in half both ways. this way. So we're going to pinch both corners and then push it in and make that into the smaller square like so. Okay. Now both those in that way. And same on the other side. Whole deal. There we go. There we go. That's going to work out good. Okay, now we're going to take this part, fold it on up. So one side will be the tail. One side will be the face, whichever works out better. I think this will make the tail, this one will make the face. There we go. There it is. Two cranes, emergency fund, 2020. And this one's named Andrew, and this one's named Jackson. Right. Make five of them and you got Jackson five. All right. Let's see if the wings will flap good on this one. Pretty good. All right. There we go. Done deal. That's how you can make a crane out of a twenty dollar bill. Two of them. Done deal. All right. There we go. Survive 2020.
you got to be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is going to come for His bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on Himself at the cross, and He gives His righteousness to those that believe on Him. So if you haven't put your trust in Him, call out to Him to save you. It's a gift of salvation. You can't earn it. He did it all on the cross, and He calls us to a loving relationship with Him. So you are invited to be reconciled to God, something that was impossible. God is holy, and our sin is separated. But without God, it was impossible. But God came to save us. He sent His Son, Jesus. You know, again, He took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave Himself so that we could be justified in Him. So, call out to Him, get into the Bible, into the Word, and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He's the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So, don't, don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't, don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. You know, call out to Him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's going to return for His people. And uh, if you missed it, and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you'll likely die for your faith, but still, like, you have eternal life. The tribulation only lasts seven years. So if you find yourself in part of it, you know, it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway. Seven years is not a long time, although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time. But be faithful unto death. That means trusting in Jesus all the way. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food, um, and it's going to be a difficult situation. But uh, you, you can still have eternal life through Jesus, because again, He took all of our sin on Himself at the cross. So, put your trust in Him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering because He is the Lamb, the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. All right, stay safe out there. God bless. God bless you. Mm -hmm.